Sometimes life gives us low blows, hard punches with changes that come and we don't expect. Or situations that change everything as we used to know it. It is mainly at these times that a large number of people in life experience suffering the most, or let's say, in a very harsh way. But when we see the one who plays a musical instrument, as well as looking at an athlete, we can learn that, for both of them, the mastery of bodily movement is just as crucial and important. Such mastery allows them to perform musical pieces or achieve world records, that otherwise seemed impossible to reach. Same happens with faith. When one suffers the most, when one doubts the most about the existence of a God who loves us, when it seems that life is nothing but a constant struggle and achievements are minuscule, if not totally absent, no matter how much we put into it, that is the time when our faith in God has to excel and be actionable in a much more precise way, more accurate in the movement and become most executable as part of our lives. And let us be clear, we are not talking here about perseverance, which is necessary. We are talking about life changes that are completely extraordinary. Or in situations in which, throughout extended periods of time, nothing seems to improve at all, no matter what we do. At these times is when our faith gets threatened as much as our own values and principles in life. Our beliefs are against the wall. This is the time when we shall execute our faith with the mastery of our years of practice through life. That is, when we are called to be at our best. Not to lose our faith nor blow away all our values to fall into what we shall never fall. Contrary to it, it is the time to show ourselves what are we made of. These times are the ones which shall be used to reinforce our strength and faith. It is exactly at these difficult times, that we are given the opportunity to ask God to demonstrate His almighty power through our situation. To show who is really and truly with, and for us. Right here. At our side. In charge of our lives. And if you ask Him, you can bet that, He is going to do it. But what does this mean? Usually, it is in those moments that we must really ask without ceasing, Father, if this is not what you want for me, tell me what is it? Or, what do you want for me that I can't understand? It is in those moments when we must know how to say, Jesus, I trust in you. I can't take it anymore, help me. I'm trying everything I can, but from this moment on, I leave it in your hands. Show me the way. Let your will be done for my life. Your will is always good for me. Guide me, please. In the Bible we are reminded time after time, that we are not alone, that we shall not fear and that we must ask for what we need. But, it also includes asking God to take it into his hands when we can't anymore to ask for his mercy, and with faith and humbleness, which means, to really trust, leave it in his hands. We have to learn to really put our faith in God for what we have released, that which we have given to God, and move our attention and works onto something else that we can do. Then, God, who uses us as tools for his purpose, sends the person who can help us, or something so unexpected happens that we can, when looking back in time, if not instantly, realize that it was by divine intervention that everything got solved. Most of the time our suffering, no matter how different we are from each other, is due to the ego. It is that part of us that wants things, achievements, etc., but our soul doesn't really need any of that. When we realize this, when we see that Jesus taught us that we must remain calm in all situations, keep the faith and trust, we realize that we are truly all beings loved by God. Our Father who is willing to help and guide us, provide and meet our needs. But we must do what we are led to do that is the obedience we are asked for, not just what we want or would like to do. And there is a part of us very deep inside, who actually knows it by heart even when we do not want to do what has been saying for long. It is the voice telling you the difference between good and bad, kind and rude, even when we behave otherwise. And we shall listen and act in line with that voice, because it will never go in the direction of harming other people nor ourselves. And again, I want to help us recall this, while we must have perseverance. We must also learn to discern between our desires and what we are being led to. When we do what we are being led to, an indescribable peace begins. The peace that this world does not give, because somehow the certainty that God is in charge comes back, that truth comes again, from the most inner part of us. So, it is essential to discern between our own objectives and desires, and what we are being guided to. We must use faith as the athlete or the musician uses his movements, with precision. That precision is given by life experiences. We must learn to let go and trust God. When we see that everything seems like a struggle, we are being asked to learn to flow with God's will and purpose for our lives. We also have to review the true reasons for our suffering, and although they are perfectly understandable and normal, we shall see ourselves with the same love that God sees us. Furthermore, we shall see ourselves in the same way He looks at us, understanding that in addition to a body with a personality, 
with needs and desires, or the ego self, we are fundamentally an incorporated soul. That soul possesses everything, lacks absolutely nothing. That's why Jesus told us to ask for God's will to be done, as in heaven on earth for us. Our soul knows that it has a Father who loves us just as much as we love Him, above all things. Who only wants the best for us at all times, helping us even in the middle of our own challenges. Now, to close this video, I will tell you this again, life is not about fighting a constant battle, or having a perpetual struggle to fulfill our egoic selves, but it is about something greater than that. You know this. By asking for help, trusting God and releasing, understanding that is exactly what is expected from us, as an act of faith, we calm down. We refocus all our attention on doing what we can do, so that our minds do not play us tricks, by trying to get back to what we have given to God. When we do this, our lives do change. God has been given the opportunity to demonstrate His almighty power and love for us over our lives. Be sure He will. Our life, will change. And, it will change for the better. God bless you always.